Hello viewers, here is a Uniden 900 megahertz dual handset analog cordless phone model number DXAI 388-2 unfortunately it's made in the China this is a rather uncommon model many of the dual handset 900s were not that common but this one in particular seems to be very difficult to come across there was a white version of this as well and there was also a dual handset version that had no answering machine and that one seems to be a fair bit more common, the one that doesn't have the answering machine. Here's the original batteries, or this is only one of them, but it's from the 2003 and it is made by the GPI and I found that the GPI seemed to be the best quality brand that Uniden used for their batteries. Very seldom do I see these fail and a lot of times when they come to me in a phone they still work just fine however this this instance did not work just fine actually I didn't test it but uh, it's kinda corroded you can see that blue stuff starting to form on the contacts the other one is a little bit worse and I don't know what's going on with this corrosion because I've never really seen that before I've been buying cordless phones for many many years and out of a sample of hundreds of phones up until three or four months ago I can think of only one or two cases where I saw a corroded battery and it's usually some cheap knockoff one this time well not this book this time and for the last several months I've received probably five or ten different phones with decent batteries in them that were corroded several of which have corroded to the point where it went all the way down the battery contacts and into the board and ruined some of the traces now I don't know if this is a function of the extreme heat and humidity that we've been experiencing this summer as the phones transfer through the non-climate controlled delivery trucks or if we're just getting to the point where the batteries are so old they're just starting to fail I hope that's not the case because that's going to make it harder to get good working phones but I guess time will tell as summer starts to fade away so anyways fortunately the corrosion did not go too far into these phones to ruin them both of them are working I know the screen isn't on in this one but it's not a function of the phone not working it's a function of the battery contacts needing to be cleaned in the charger and on the phone itself this set is absolutely disgusting it's very very heavily used you can see the, the surface of the back of the handset is worn shiny in several places lots of heavy wear on the bottom kind of a shame because this set seems to be hard to come across the non-answering machine version seems to be a lot more common the base is pretty beat up too This set was kind of a freak show to obtain because I saw it on a, uh, a listing on the Mercari, the selling app, which I've never used before uh, purchasing of these. And uh, there were several other phones in the lot. There was another analog unit in 900. And the price was pretty good, so I decided to get it. And when the package showed up, the second handset, that one, was not in the box and so it was this whole debacle I kept emailing the seller and they were going back and forth and it took them a while they did eventually find the second handset again and uh, they should have just sent it over at no cost because it was their mistake I had to pay to ship it over here which I'm not happy about because it wasn't my fault that they missed it when they put it in the box they should have cleaned that up themselves but you know it, it because this is such a rare model, I wasn't going to cause us to think about it and risk not being able to get it. Anyways, so here it is. Um, you can see the antennas are jacked up, totally missing on both of them. This set has been, uh, been used quite a bit. It's got a lot of hours on it. It definitely took quite a beating during its uh, days of use. So let's go ahead and plug in the phone line. I happen to like this set quite a bit. The um, the handsets, they're a nice size, they're very ergonomic, 
These do have, have belt clip options, although I don't know if I have any clips for them. I may have a clip somewhere. Um, the nice ergonomic handset and the audio quality on these is fantastic. It, it gives a lot of the same experience as talking on a corded phone. Really nice amount of side tone to it. The audio pickup is super sensitive, really clear. The incoming audio can get as loud as you ever would want it to possibly be. Really clear, great sound quality. The range I don't think is quite as good as some of the older full-size models like the 7980 for instance. However, this base isn't too bad. It's really the one that has no answering machine that's bad um, as far as the range goes. This one seems to be okay. A little bit better, probably because it has the regular antenna. Now it looks like these contacts are getting kind of screwed up too. Being from 2003, this would have been a later production 900. And since that would have been into the 5.8 era, it's now two frequencies behind. So it probably would have been sold as an economy model. And I suspect this one, especially the one with no answering machine, would have been quite inexpensive. I happen to like this one better because this has the base ringer to it. The compact no answering machine model does not have the base ringer. And these handset ringers aren't quite loud enough for me to not have the base. So, let's begin by calling it up. It's working. Got caller ID on both handsets. Let's take a look at this answering machine and see if we can get the time and date set. Answer off. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Okay, so it's got the stock reading still. Time. Thursday, 6.30, 4 a.m. 6. Security. Ring. Time. Thursday, 6. 30, 4, a.m. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Security code, Whoops. 2, 3, time, Thursday, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty, five, thirty, six, thirty, seven, thirty, eight, thirty, nine, forty, forty, one, forty, two, forty, three, forty. 4, 40, 5, 40, 6, 40, 7, 40, 8, 40, 9, 50, 50, 1, 50, 2, 50, 3, 50, 4, 50, 5, 50, 6, 50, 7, 50, 
four, twenty, five, twenty, six, twenty, seven, twenty, eight, twenty, nine, thirty, thirty, one, thirty, two, thirty, three, thirty, four, thirty, five, thirty, six, AM, PM, AM, PM. Time, Thursday, 10, 30, 6 p.m. Security code, 2, 4, 2, 5. Ring, time, 6. Toll saver, 2, 4, 6. Toll saver. Record, time, 1 minute, 4 minutes. Announce only. Message alert. Off. On. The pronunciation of those numbers was very, very clear. Even more so than usual for Uniden. And the voice always seems to be just about the same on all their telephones. The speaker in this one, I don't know if that was working. The speaker in this one is not working. And this one seems like it's kind of quiet. So we may have to replace both of those. Record memo message. Recording memo message. Okay, so let's call this thing up. It's on the announce only greeting. Okay, so that's not doing what I set it to do at all. Time. Security code. Ring. Time. Oh. Six. Six. Toll saver. I guess you have to press set. Ring time. Toll saver. Otherwise it doesn't save it. Record time. One minute. Four. Record time. Four minutes. Message alert. Off. On. Message alert. On. Time. Thursday. Security. Ring. Time. Two. Toll saver. Record. Time. Announce only. Record. Time. Announce only. Message. Alert. On. Two. New. Messages. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to turn this down. Two. New. Messages. So we don't get a feedback freak show again. Okay, that worked. 
says A for an ounce only. Thursday, 10, 14, p.m. Friday. Whoops. Security. Ring. Time. Record. Time. Announce. Four minutes. Record. Time. Four minutes. Okay, so now we should be able to record a message. Uh, turn Two, that back yeah. down again. Okay. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. These contacts really need to be cleaned. Now it doesn't seem like it wants to work anymore. Just beeped for the message alert. There we go. Okay, now let's record a greeting. No one is available to take your call. Record greeting. Hello, this is the donut shop. If you're looking for wrenches, you need to call the hardware store. Hello, this is the donut shop. If you're looking for wrenches, you need to call the hardware store. Goose Goose, one, two, three. This is a testing message from the AT&T 210 to which I'm speaking as close as physically possible. Let's try the greeting again. I'll Try to speak closer to it this time. Greeting. Let's see if this greeting is any clearer. The microphone is on the bottom of this telephone. So I believe it's up hole. Let's see right if there. this greeting is any clearer. The microphone is on the bottom of this telephone. That did sound better. Let's try again. Greeting is any clearer. The microphone is on the bottom of this telephone. That message did sound clearer than the first one. New messages. Recording. Memo message. Thursday, 10. Recording. Memo. Recording. Okay, so that's not doing what I said it did at all. Thursday, 10. 30. 8. P.M. Oh. Thursday, 10. 40. 1. P.M. Goose Goose, one, two, three. 
This is a testing message from the AT&T 210 to which I'm speaking as close as physically possible. Thursday, 10, 43 p.m. That message did sound clearer than the first one. Thursday, 10, 44 p.m. End of messages. To delete all messages, press delete again. Okay, so the answering machine seems to work. The quality is kind of average. That's not any surprise. So let's take a look at this call log here. I'll see how many calls it got per day. Oh wow, this has a payphone on there. You don't see that anymore. I can't remember the last time I got a call from the payphone. So let's see here. Um, it has a call on 316 at 933 AM, 321 at 214 PM, 322 at 721 PM, 323 at 446 PM, 326 at 901, and that's from a real estate company, I believe, 326 at 932 AM, 327 at 317 PM, 319 at 9.17 a.m. 4.3 at 3.01 p.m. Name unavailable. And <laughs> this is pretty comical. 4.6 at 8 o'clock p.m. And it says, uh, it says payphone. But it's spelled wrong. Payphone. Another name unavailable. Um, on 411, someone called at 1204, 412, uh, 1152 AM, 423, 846 PM, 424, 522 PM, 425, 114 PM, 426, 1213 PM, 426, 1241, 426, 443, 426, 713, 427, 7.28 a.m. So I got a fair number of calls. Um, not nearly as many as I was expecting. A lot of days are only one call. Got a lot of calls more so towards the end of its time being plugged in. Uh, 4.27 had a call at 7.28, 8, 8, 8.12, 5.17, 8.04, 8.12, and payphone. So maybe it was used more for outgoing calls. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's take a look at the buttons on this handset. We have the ring, two types, two volumes, and off. The auto talk is on. The area code is set, so somebody actually went into the menu and changed these settings. That's not something you see very often. No memories, though I believe the memories are stored in volatile memory for whatever reason. So when the battery goes dead, you lose them anyways. So there could have been at some point, we may never know. Yeah, the thing is spoiled in this one. Interesting how the second handset doesn't have nearly as many settings. We got it can do the area code. You can only set the call waiting on the handset number one, which is a global setting. 
and the dial tone, but yet for whatever reason you can change the area code on each one. That's bizarre. The area code should be a global setting as well, I would think. Maybe not the way these earlier ones worked. Hmm. We may have a setting. I mean, not a setting, a, a select button issue. Yeah, that's not working. Transfer works, and memory works. That's kind of odd for just that one button to not work. That's very odd. So I don't think it's a sensitivity issue either. Seems to be totally dead to the world. Okay, so I'll have to take a look at that. Gee, this hand set's not doing too good. I hope this wasn't, that's not corrosion damage, because if I have to repair those traces, that's going to be kind of difficult. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. This may be a very advanced repair. Okay, so let's make some outside coils here. I'll switch this over to the mains. Hopefully not kick the camera anymore. Turn the amplifier on. And uh, sometimes it gets feedback. It is what it is. That is working. Just kick the camera again. What happened? I don't know why that's getting so much feedback today. I know this never works the greatest, but it's not usually quite quite that bad. Okay, so that is working. Sounds okay. And I think you can't just answer this other handset. I believe you have to transfer it. Yeah, I won't let you connect. So we got to do a transfer. Okay, that also sounds just fine. Now we'll check the numbers, make sure it's dialing out correctly. Miss that old channel sound, the hang up sound. The new Digitan phones just don't sound the same. Okay, now I'll record some testing messages into the testing answering machine. The testing messages have been recorded. Two new messages and 23 old messages. 
Message one. This is a testing message from handset number one. I will walk across the room to make sure the range is what it should be. It may get a little bit of static on the far end here. I think I can hear some. Now I'm as far as I can go. And usually these pick up a little bit of static at this point. Yeah, I can definitely hear some static, but it's not too bad. Okay, I'll change the channel just so we can hear what that sounds like. Okay, that will conclude this testing message. That was weird, I don't know why it didn't hang up. Could be the charging contacts are just not making connection. Message two. Okay, this is testing message number two, and I believe that other handset was not hanging up because the charging contacts are so dirty, they're not making a proper connection. So we're definitely going to have to get those cleaned up. Now I'm walking across the room. I'm just about as far as I can go over to where the water equipment is. It still sounds relatively clear, although there are a few bits of static here and there. That will conclude the testing message of handset number two. End of messages. Okay, so that was sounded pretty good. Very clear. Plenty of volume. And this is definitely not hanging up because the charging contacts are dirty. You can see it's not not charging. The contacts are really disgusting. You can actually see a visible accumulation of dirt on there. And this one is just as bad, if not worse. So these are going to be a big project to get these going again. And this does work. I know the light's not really coming on, but it does does work. So it's all there except for the antennas. It replaced a couple of parts. We'll make some new antennas and clean it up, and this will be a nice set to have in the collection.